Beijing quickly built human-made artificial islands to seize disputed territories. But now it looks like their greed and speed are coming back to haunt them. China's island outposts in the China seas might have a major weakness. Since 2013 the Chinese government has dredged and mostly destroyed ecologically delicate reefs in disputed waters in order to build seven major military bases, complete with ports, airstrips and radar and missile installations. The islands function as unsinkable aircraft carriers and help to cement Beijing's claims on waters rich with fish and minerals, waters that neighboring countries also claim. If the terraforming no longer makes headlines, it is because it is largely complete the economist stated. Perhaps the most important installations sit on the Fiery Cross, Subian Mischief Reefs in the Spratly Island Group. Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan all also claim the Spratlys. Between 2013 and 2016, huge construction vessels pulverized the reefs in order to create the raw materials for the bases. The dredger Tianjing alone shifted 4,500 cubic meters of materials every hour, enough to nearly fill two Olympic-sized swimming pools, according to the Hong Kong South China Morning Post. Beijing claims it has begun restoring the reefs it destroyed, but it's unclear how effective restoration efforts might be. Marine biologist John McManus at the University of Miami said that dredging kills basically everything living around coral reefs. To the Chinese Communist Party, the new bases were worth the environmental cost. The installations allow China to control the entirety of the South China Sea in any scenario short of all-out war with the United States The Economist explained. The new port and resupply facilities are helping China project power ever further afield. Chinese survey vessels look for oil and gas in contested waters. In 2014 China deployed an oil platform in Vietnam's exclusive economic zone, leading to a standoff between Chinese and Vietnamese forces. The Chinese eventually removed the first platform, only later to deploy a second one. Yet not everything is going China's way the economist added. Rumors suggest the new island's concrete is crumbling and their foundations turning to sponge in a hostile climate. And that is before considering what a direct hit from a super typhoon might do. More significantly, neighboring countries are resisting Chinese pressure to develop gas fields that lie within their exclusive economic zones jointly. Even though the Philippines agreed in principle to one joint development, a formal agreement to that end has yet to be signed. Nor has China prevented foreign oil companies from working with other littoral states. The rig Chinese vessels harried in Vietnamese waters is operated by a Russian state enterprise, Rosneft, even though Russia is supposedly a close friend of China's. The island base's uncertain future hasn't deterred China from heaping additional capabilities on their potentially fragile infrastructure. In November 2019 a surveillance blimp for the first time appeared on Mischief Reef. A radar-carrying aerostat blimp would provide a very capable but also a relatively cheap option for monitoring various activity around Mischief Reef, as well as potentially queuing surface-to-air and anti-ship missiles to engage potential threats Joseph Trevithick reported at the war zone.